Tonight, soccer players in Shawnee are honoring a teammate who died from fentanyl. Mill Valley High School students hosted the second annual Keeping It Clean for Coop. KMC 9's Brian Johnson is live with the message it hopes to spread. Brian, tell us more about this. Yeah, Priya, well, awareness is so key. Since 2000 here in Shawnee, they have had twice as many fentanyl overdose deaths as they have had homicides. When you expand it out and you look at Johnson County as a whole, just last year they had 185 overdoses. Tonight, parents are asking that teens keep it clean for Coop. A popular sport has deeper meaning for fans. These keep and clean for coop shirts are in the stands and on the field worn by both teams. It's to raise awareness of the fentanyl epidemic. One pill can kill. I think it's just a wonderful opportunity to set the competition aside for a few minutes and really focus on what is very important in life. Libby Davis lost her son to accidental overdose. Four teens split two pills. Cooper didn't survive. He played soccer for Mill Valley High. Making sure these kids graduate from high school, survive high school. No community is immune. Jatea Lucero is from Lawrence. In June, the city had three people overdose within six hours. Jatea didn't make it. We just want everybody to know the dangers of fentanyl. I mean, it, it has to get out there. Jatea had an amazing contagious smile. Two families, two teams. Let the school be a resource for you. Spread one message. No one is immune to this. One pill might be your only chance. And we want to make sure that there's not another family in our community that's impacted by a tragedy like the Davises have experienced. In Shawnee, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. The DEA says four in 10 pills sold on the street right now have lethal doses of fentanyl. First responders encourage people to have Narcan in their homes. It saves lives by reversing the effects of overdose.